Hello, this is Jeffrey G97, and welcome to the episode. Today's episode is going to be the full series of the new historic sports cars uh, series, uh, which is at Goodwood, uh, Numbering, and at Spa. So, I decided to do Goodwood first, uh, just simply because it's a small, fun, easy track to drive with. Um, the car feels very nice, feels very smooth, has that little uh, loose feel. But other than that, it just feels really smooth, feels very comfortable to drive. And uh, you can tell that our car is a lot faster uh, than the rest of the field. So if you use this car, you use the setup, uh, which will be at the end of the video, plus the special custom parts, um, you should have no problem uh, for these races to come from the back and make your way up to the front. So yeah. Uh, just not to bore who's ever watching, I'm just going to do the first lap and then just cut to the last lap of each race, except for uh, the number ring. So, as you can tell, uh, as you can see, um, as we do a little slide there, up to P3 at the end of the first lap. So, really good progress, and at the end of the race, we pull out a huge lead doing below a minute, 13 minutes uh, lap time. And here's a little stats. Uh, we're here at the main straightaway. Uh, all I can tell you is just drive most of the track um, the way you see on the map. Uh, you'll mainly be on gear 2. Uh, very rarely will you be in gear, gear 1. And you'll also will be uh, right around gear three sometimes, but for gear four, it only occurs twice. All you gotta do is just drive uh, what you see on the track, and that's basically it for Nurburgring. And as you can see on the screen, it's only one lap. So basically, all it is is basically survival. There's the time. And now for Spa. And I think this one was actually the most fun to drive. So you can tell it's very cloudy. Um, I was a little concerned that this was going to be a race where you have to race one lap with dry tires and then come to the pit road and change tires. But that is not the case. So. Um, you don't have to come in, change tires. It's just an overcast, cloudy afternoon. That's all it is. As we make our way to the front, like I said, the car feels very smooth. Um, you mainly would drive this track in gear two. Um, I think gear four will only curve whenever you're not long straight away, but you're mainly going to be in gear two, sometimes gear three. And right at the very end, with a tight tear pin, it's going to be gear one. You just ba mainly just drive the car uh, as smooth as you can. As we are already in P4, as we make the left turn to the outside, the little slide, low drift slide, as we drift our way around to P2 and then to the lead. And that's basically it for Spa. As we totally mess up that turn and go way off the track. And for this tight uh, last chicane, going to be at gear one. 
and then gear two. And that's basically a lap guide for your spa for the car. So yeah, that's basically it for spa. It's a simple three lap race. And there's the stats for that race. And after completing the three races, I got a four star ticket roulette as the award. And I'm gonna show you what I got. Not a real big surprise, so. But whatever. Hopefully they can fix that. Because it's so annoying. So now up to the setup. This is the Tokyo Buck setup. If you look through my other videos, I do have a GT40 guide. Through my old rest of the uh, GT40 Tokyo 600 guide video. I will have that in the description below if you're interested in that. So that's the setup for the race. And here's the custom parts. Splitter A. And for the rear wing, Type B. Well, hope you guys enjoy the race, the video, and hopefully this will help you out. And now I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.